What's up guys? Today we're going to create an idle animation in under five minutes. A couple things I want to go over before we get started. Okay. I already posed out the character. It takes a little bit more than five minutes to do that, to do, just do a quick post. Okay. So I went ahead and did that. I have four kids. It's summertime. Might be a little bit hectic. Might hear them in the background. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. The biggest thing we're going to use in Maya that comes in Maya is the copy and paste, the quick copy and paste uh, script that they have or whatever. Okay. And all you need to do when you're doing that is press S middle mouse drag over and press S on the key that you want. It copy and paste that frame to the, to whatever specified frame you want when you're dragging over and that's it. So let's get started. I'm going to count me down three, two, one, go. All right. So first thing we're going to do guys, is we are animating a 60 frame idle. So we're gonna make sure that our timeline is at 60. And with that, we are going to go ahead and create a pose on 60, the same pose on 60 and on uh, number zero and number 60, okay? The same pose is gonna also be number 30, okay? And so on 15, we're gonna pull the character down like this. It's gonna be that same pose on 45. So let's look at what's happening. Our character's going up and down, right? He's running up and down. Okay, want to push that just a little bit farther. Let's see here. Nope. Oh, right there. Copy and paste that. Okay. Now he's going up and down. Okay. So we also want to rotate his hands downward, right? To get a little bit of overlap on the hands. Copy and paste that. Okay. Oh, we're also going to want to let's go ahead and give all of our, our main keys, uh, uh, con all of our controls a key on all of our increments, which is split up into four different increments. One, two, three, four. Okay, five poses to create a solid loop. Now we're going to make it so on 15, his head rotates down a little bit so we can get a little bit of overlap there. Um, we're going to make it so he doesn't just go up and down. Okay, he's going to go side to side. So we're going to pull him over like this on frame one, copy and paste that to 60. On frame 30, he's going to go over to the other side. Okay, so we're going to see this just like this. Okay, right now it doesn't look very good because he's not overlapping at all. Okay, so we're gonna build that overlap now. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, let's go ahead and stack graph editor, panel, perspective, graph editor, okay. So let's go ahead and grab these. We're gonna pull these so the hills and valleys go before each keyframe, okay. We're gonna check how that looks. Oh man, it's already looking good, right? But we wanna make it just a little bit sweeter. So let's go ahead and grab these. Looks like we wanna rotate on the Z. Grab this grab this Oop. let's do one at a time because our keys are so in so different places okay go like this go like this we're gonna have it go after okay since our body's going down we want the rotations to happen after that's not looking good so let's go ahead and do it before ah, I don't like that so let's go ahead and do it after okay do that like this do the same thing the other hand we want, it, we want the hills and valleys to come after the keyframe okay just like that Okay, we want the same thing to happen to our head. So we're gonna go in here, grab the Y. Oh, just kidding. Looks like we're gonna grab the Z as well. Going back to the Y. <laughs> like this. Punch that up a bit. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the Z as well. Have it go after. Why not the X? Okay, how are we looking? One minute and 30 seconds. Well, two minutes, sorry. My bad, <laughs> two minutes. I don't know how to retell time. Okay, so there's that. So, we also want to maybe rotate him just a little bit this way. Same as last frame, copy and paste. On frame 30, do the same thing. Get rid of these two keys. Okay. Whoa, that's a little crazy. Let's do this, let's do this. Okay, that way he's got a little bit of leading action. We can probably go ahead and do this, uh, put some it hips in there. The weight is on the other, this leg over here on his right leg on this one and on the left leg, um, when it gets to 30, it's on there. Let's go ahead and delete those two frames. So there's just, it's naturally coming back and forth, right? Okay, so. Let's go ahead and have him before, right? Maybe that's a little much, so let's tone it down a bit. Okay. Ah, uh, that's looking nice, right? Maybe we can, we still got a whole minute left. So, let's go ahead and rotate, rotate this here like this, going this way. 
We're gonna get rid of these and these. Let's go like this. If we want to, we can do it before. Tone that down a little bit. Maybe not as much. Ah, uh, yeah, we got some nice rotation, right? Okay, I got 22 seconds. Hmm, what else do we want to do? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's, uh, let's pull this down like this. Go over here to this one. Oh, just on the X, just on the X. Oh, we're running out of time. Insert key, uh, 45. Insert, insert key. Go like this. Go like this, two seconds. Okay, let's see how that's looking. All right. Our timer is done. We've hit zero. And if we look at this, guys, we've created a legitimate idol, right? I mean, there could be a lot of details that go into this, but we created a basic idol in under five minutes. Just wanted to prove that it could happen, guys. Go have ham. Go ahead and do it yourselves. Thanks, guys. Happy animating.